So as I understand, you're um, you're a very big like artist of the, like immersive theatre. Uh, yes, I, yes, I am. I've been involved in uh, in immersive theatre for the past year now. Um, and I just think it's something that's a lot more more interesting than traditional theatre. I mean, it offers offers much more. I think. Hmm. Yeah, I think so too. Um, what kind of um, like immersive things do do you like um, do best? Like, what, what's your um, well the. Take? The most, recent, the most recent production we put on was called As I Lay Sleeping and the whole thing with that was that essentially we were trying to create a, um, a sort of dark horror theme set in a, a medical environment based around a fictional drug. Um, and the idea was that essentially people came into the play and the idea was that they took this drug um, and then so experienced the effects of, the of them. Exactly, that's, oh, the, that's the point here is to try and break the, the barrier between the audience and the cast. Okay, so um, could you tell me your name, please? <clears throat> uh, my name is um, Sergeant Gary Sanderson. Okay, and um, I, I've heard that you're, you're receiving the Victoria Cross today, is that correct? Yes. And, um, and what, is that, what is it that you've done to earn such a, a prestigious award? Um, w well, uh, we were in Somalia. And, uh, are, you, are you all right? It's okay, take your time. S sorry. Don't worry about it. Sorry, it's just I lost a lot of good friends. So, could you tell me how you met, met Prince Harry? Well, we was at a party and, you know, I caught his eye with my fabulous looks. Right, and now you're married. How many kids do you plan on having? Well, I plan on having so many because my kids surely have to be king or queen. So you want the best for your kids? Of course. Right, and will they be private school? Obviously. Who do you think I am? I do apologise. You should. Sorry. Who okay. are you? Huh? Um, so, Catherine, can you tell me about your first single? Yes, well, I released it last, what was it, January? And um, I had a lot of buyers, actually. Did you buy it? Of course, it was fabulous. Well, thank you very much. I did make it. Yeah, and um, did you write the song? Yes, obviously. My own words, my own voice. Brilliant. You have such skills. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. How many records did you sell? 56 million, was it? Wow. Yes. That's so amazing. And how many more do you plan on selling? Millions more. A specific number? No. Oh, you have ambition. I like it. Thank you. So your film, Runaway, gave you your big break, am I correct? Yeah, it was my first major movie. And how did you come about getting this role? Well, one day I was walking down the street and a recu recruiting agent saw me. He just loved my looks, so he signed me up. Well, that's fabulous. Um, now, there are rumours that you and your co-star um, have a bit of romance going on. Can you tell us a bit about that? Well, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Oh. So tell me about the film you're in. Well, I play a hopeless romantic woman who falls in love with a married man. Is this quite conventional to your acting career? Um, I guess. Would you relate this character to yourself in person? Well, no, because I'm in love with someone else who isn't married. So no, I don't think so. So, um, have you got any ideas for any future films? Um, well, I want to go back to my roots and go back to action. So, I'm going to just ask you some questions about your new film. Okay. So, what makes it better to all your other films? Well, out of my 16 so far, um, with all Oscars, um, this one's got more explosions, um, more women and more money. And uh, so far the explosions are going down really well because um, it's what people want in films. So, why is there more explosions? Well, uh, you know, Everyone loves explosions, so I want to appeal to all the ages, like all the young ones and all the old ones, because they just love explosions. I'm guessing you love explosions too. It's, it's my favourite hobby. So you like blowing up things? Um, yes. Can you say explosions five times? Uh, explosions, 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 explosions. Anything else about explosions? Um, I make good films with explosions in. Like Michael Bay, but better. 
firstly like to congratulate you on your, um, well, your achievement. Thank you, thank you very much. So, how many hats do you think you have now? Um, well, I think I've got 22,000 at my house, 52 million in my warehouse, and around 10,000 at my grandma's house. Okay, so where would you like to take it from here then? Are you going to buy more? Are you going to sell them on? I'd like to travel around the world, maybe pick up a couple of sombreros, just see where it takes me really. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. Have you ever eaten any hats? Why would I eat hats? They're just too beautiful to eat. Have you seen that mini advert? No. Where he eats his hat? That's outrageous! Who would eat their hat? That's absolutely barbaric! We apologise. You should apologise. <laughs> so, Verity, I heard you started in a, starred in a new movie with um, Tom Cruise. Uh, yes, it's very exciting. Um, would you mind reminding us of the title of this new movie? Um, so it's called uh, Spies Go, um, and obviously me, me and Tom are, um, well, we, we play characters who are fighting against the world together, really. Um, speaking of together, we've heard from the local press that you've been caught with a bit of romance with Mr Tom Cruise. Oh, no, no, not at all. It's, it's, it's just great chemistry on set. Um, if you say so. I do. So what made you uh, apply for the Jeremy Carl show? Well, this is the thing. I'm really famous, but no one quite knows it yet. So I'm just trying to like find any way to get on TV, to be fair. So the Jeremy Carl show was the only way that I could actually get that step up. So what issues are you, tr are you being troubled with at the moment? <sighs> Shoes and issues. Um, people don't realise how thug I am. Like, I am so thug. I smoke invisible cigarettes. Did you get me? And what are you looking forward to most for your experience on the show? I'm looking forward to meeting Graham and I'm looking forward to arguing with Jeremy. Jezza, <laughs> best mate. <laughs> so, what's brought you to the studio today? I'm just, just dealing with so much stuff at the moment yeah. and just life is just so hard because I found out the other day that my mum was lying to me about who my dad was. Really? So, so who is your dad? That I, do, I, I just don't even know. I'm just, I'm just trying to, that's why I've come here. How many options of dad are there? Um, I think there is about three maybe. Definitely just three? Um, well, I, I think. What inspired you to write music? Well, ever since I was a little kid, I've been into like Kirk Bain and Jim Morrison. The injury, I can't say individuality and motivation. What is individuality? Individuality. Ah. I got it. Yeah, like inspired me and just made me follow my dreams. Mm. What is it like being an individual? Well, it's individual, really, isn't it? Hey, Carrie, it's Nicole. I just want to ask you, how was your last film in High School Musical? I, yeah, I auditioned. <laughs> <laughs> I auditioned as a potato in the cafeteria. You know, I felt that role was designed for me. And how did you feel being a potato? <laughs> <laughs> um, Why are you laughing at me? Uh, it just felt amazing. <laughs> I felt that role was designed for me and I feel I just, I'm so talented at playing a role of, of a potato. Can you laugh for us, please? Who, me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your name? Sydney. And where are you from? Sydney. So I hear you've won the lifeguard of the year. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, well, I was lifeguarding in Sydney because I wanted to experience Sydney and there was this old lady and she was drowning and I saved her. Oh, cool. Thanks. Anything else about Sydney? It's great, like, I love it because my name is Sydney. How do you pronounce it in Australian? Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hannah, I hear you've been in the press a lot recently. Could you tell me a bit about that? Um, well, 
Yeah, me and Justin had this like little thing. Justin Bieber? Yeah. Um, I thought she was with Selena Gomez. No, not anymore. So are you and Justin <laughs> together now? Well, I'm not really going to go into detail about it. But you're at an interview about it. Yeah, well... <laughs> so do you like Selena Gomez? Mm, she's just a brunette really, isn't she? So are you saying blondes are better? Yeah, obviously. Blondes have more fun, don't they? Hi, so what's your name? Steph Andrews. Um, what are you here for? I am junior tennis champion. Oh really? So who inspires you? Andy Murray. So what about him do you like? Is it his, his looks or his personality? His personality really, you know, it gets me going, it's good. So is, is there anything you want to tell us about, about tennis? Is there any good techniques you know? I try and hit it and get it in really. I, there's nothing to talk about. My coach is really good, but yeah. So what preparation did you have for your final tournament? Oh, uh, good question. I'm just too good. I don't, I don't need much preparation. I mean, I, I trained, but there's nothing much to say. So, as everyone wants to know, what is your name? Well, my name is Abigail Giles. So, was it a heroic event that you performed? It was. So, what was it? I saved my friend from dying. <gasps> No way! So no. was this in a skydiving event? Funny enough it was. So what actually happened? Well, what I did is I, my parachute was up so I was like floating around and I put my arms out and there he was, he oh. landed in my arms! That is so impressive, you have to teach me your skills. It was like he fell from the heavens! Wow! I know I was amazing, he kept screaming, I don't have a parachute! And I was like, what are you doing here then? Oh, he's a silly bugger him. <laughs> ventured up the Alps. What was, what was that like? It was well fun actually. I mean, it's, it's just walking, but it was pretty exciting and stuff. Yes, and I hear you're quite controversial with your hiking up the Alps. Is, what, what were you wearing? Well, I was wearing a bathing suit and it was pretty cold, but I, I, I got by a bit. Ah. I lived. Very impressive. <laughs> But I'm, I'm pretty controversial, I don't really I'm, I, I don't know, I just walk around and make people smile. Could you give it a smile? Beautiful smile you have there, Joe. Thank you very much. And where do you live, Joe? I, um, I live in Brighton, um, very nice place, not very, not very warm. Oh yes, great place, Brighton. It really isn't. It's, it's very cold. What do you think of the pebbles down there? I do tend to eat a few um, on my <laughs> casual beach walks, but um, it's about it really. They are kind of uh, yummy. Um, hello. Um, do you remember why you're here today? Um, uh, all right. Um, do you remember, uh, you know, what you did? My name is Jeff. <laughs> um, right, um, hello. So, um, can you remind us of what you did, please? I, I do not know what, what are you, you're talking about. Um. Hi, so can you introduce yourself for us, please? Hi, my name's Mickey Mouse. Hello, um, so when did you meet Minnie? I was at the clubhouse and I um, saw her in the corner. What do you like about Minnie? Her ears, they're lovely. What's your favourite Disney film? Um, Frozen. Is I just love warm hugs. <laughs> Is there any upcoming Disney films which are coming in? Um, no, but me and uh, Donald are starring in um, Big Brother. That's going to be great. <laughs> so can you tell me your name please? My name's Lucy. And I can see you have a quite bright hair there. I do, I do. Is it fake? It looks like a wig. I was born with it, oh, unfortunately. How, how yeah. do you feel? Like, yeah. why me? Could be anyone. But, but it just had to be you, didn't it? I was a bit unfortunate, really. Yeah. Do you find people tend to run away from you when they see you? Because I would run away if I Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Why don't you just uh, dye your hair? Because I'm not allowed. Oh. And God, very well done! <laughs>
Em 